And welcome back to the Illusion of Guy Let's Play Part 11. We're in the Sky Garden, questing for our second mystic statue. Because it wasn't... It was technically buried in the, in the desert. But... I have to go through all this crap first. So, let's do that then. See, I'm back down to 30 FPS. Oh well, what are you gonna do? But I have freedom now. And that's a good thing. Because as you can see... I kind of need him. Get my stuff. Let me try uh, getting my FPS back for a second here. There we go. Why it does that? Who knows? Okay. Yeah, and that's why you have to do these counterclockwise. Because you need freedom. I don't remember if you learned another dark power. But you notice, too, what I just fought on that side, I'm not fighting on this side. Oh, excellent. And that makes the path before me. So that I can continue. This, this dungeon can conf Oh, I like this part. Die, all of you! <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but you needed to kill everything, so. And I just did this on the other side, so now I get to do it on this side. And I think I remember... Oh, the consistency. There's the ladders on that ledge that I went across. I think I remember, um... The dark force that you get from for Frieden is that exploding fireball thing that I talked about earlier. Where Frieden's dark power explodes when it hits an enemy. Yay! I got the second one! Sweet. I'm gonna try to get the other two in this part. If I don't get them both, or I get them both, but I don't get to the boss. At least you'll see that in the next, next part. It'd be sweet. So now this one's done. You're also noticing that that was not all that difficult. And that's that's why. If you're doing them in the right order, they're not that difficult. This one was a little more involved than the last one. But it was still pretty simple. But the fact that I'm blowing through this too... Um, I've played this game through several times. It's just that awesome. But... I still have a hard time sometimes with some of these places because it's it, it, <laughs> it's tough to remember every little thing like when we get to the Tower of Babel or the pyramid that's just weird because you have to sink into the floor and it's hard to tell you know exactly where you're going you have to follow the menu or the, the pause menu you see where all the enemies are that kind of guides you through and that's where you get uh, oh now we're doing the button thing here the certain switches you hit on the bottom will push these these things down, but they'll go up on the other side. So you gotta hit them in the right order so that you can get through. Isn't that nice? And those were just destroyed completely. <laughs> That's okay. See, that'll go down. When I get to the end, these will be down, and I'll be able to leave real fast-like. So let's go to the other side. See this button? Now those are up. And those are up, and those are down. So that's how that works. But I, I think I could go this way, too. Pretty sure there's a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, you need will for that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but that's later. Turn back into wheel to complete the dungeon. Now that the way has been made clear, I can kill these guys. Are they the last ones? No, there's six more after that. I could have got them without that. I guess they do that in case you turn into wheel first. You can still beat those guys up. Oh yeah, those those red ball things that you meet underneath. They're blue and slower on this side. Now you know. I hope the action isn't too loud. Oh, 
Oh, I did kill them all. There's my defensive power. <coughs> oh, hello. Well, I guess that will have to be for later. Yeah, there's probably a red jewel in there, or that is the actual crystal ball. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to hit a button somewhere under here. Now that the top part of the maze is done. Oh, yes. Let's use Freedom's Dark Power. With much intelligence when <laughs> we use it. Because now i got to change back into Will to make all of the rest of this happen. See how complicated this is? My goodness. Here we are. Yes, I will return into Will. I'm also going to try to get three or four of these up in a day, because they only take about 45 minutes to upload. And the more you get to watch, the better, right? <laughs> okay, so now I'm Will, and I can go back, oops, I can go back down to here, and I can destroy these statues, I think. Oh, that's right. I went the wrong direction, I think. Let me ponder this for a moment. There we go. A tricky move there. That's the only way to get over here. And that's how you get back. But you go really fast. Oh, I screwed it up. I actually don't think that's right. I've got to hit those buttons first on the other side of the maze in order to uh, get over here. So I actually did it kind of backwards, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll go on the other side once again. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. You gotta go the long way, because I don't remember these statues there. That's the way I gotta go, of course. Die now! Yeah, because there's the... There we go. And we're going... Oh, we're not going up there yet. I do know where that is, though. i got to kind of remember what was going on over there in order to successfully do it over here. So those are up, these are down. Ah, uh, here we go. Now I'm back on the other side of the thing. There we go. Yeah, he got, you gotta drag him all the way over here. And that message that came up, when you step on the tile it makes a sound. Yeah, he's really far away, so you gotta work to get that one. Whoa, uber lag. Let's see here. There we go. Sorry about that. Perhaps it's funny with this thing, but it's working. Yes, unfortunately, this is your only option. And it's just pretty straight shot. Yes, I know. But these little, these four tiles in the middle of the room here are actually those posts that were on the other side blocking my way. Now they're down. So now, I can, oh my, I can run all the way across and uh, I believe get the third crystal ball, I think, because that's the only chest in the in the room. Oh, and my buddies are back. Hang on. You die now. There we go. Yes. The third crystal ball is mine. Do, 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 do. Ra, da, 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 da. All right. So that's done, and we're on to the fourth one. Which is the biggest pain. And you'll see why. And I'm pretty sure I can just go back this way. Yep. And that's it. There's my crystal balls, by the way, that I've been collecting. They're blue. Yeah, this is the why you do this one last.
probably get it in five minutes. But that's just because I'm me. I probably skipped something important there, but that's alright. I'll get it on the way back. If you ever miss anything at the beginning of one of these levels, you always know that they'll make you go right back out the way you came in, so you don't have to worry about that. If I ran that way, then I missed this thing. So that, that that's pretty much the way back. Yeah, see, now I can't go this way, so I have to go the other way. And I missed the DP, shame on me. That's right, though. There'll be more. Yeah, you gotta stop yourself right here. Because if you keep going, you'll just go back in a circle. This is the way we want to go. And beating up. How many are in this level? There's 14 of them. Alright, we'll do that. Got another... Another one of these sword guys. Looks like I'm going to need freedom for that. Because I can't reach him. Oh, and that's impossible to avoid. Oh, and look where I am. It's where I was. Obviously, that's going to be the way out. And I'm going to need to use an herb because I'm getting myself killed here. Fortunately, I have plenty. And an herb restores 10 health. Yeah. Well, actually seems a little stronger than normal. Okay. Come on down here, will you? Come on, there you go. Gotta coach them. Yeah. Alright, here's Frieden. Good deal. So now we'll turn into Frieden so that we can kill that sword guy and put him over on the button. And then that way I'll be able to get the final crystal bowl. But even though this is this is looking pretty easy, this is the most complicated out of the four. And they do make you do some character switching in this one. But it only gets worse as, as the game progresses when you get the third form change. Then things really become fun. Why am I hurting myself? Alright, so we're gonna totally hit this guy to wake him up. And he's dead. Now we move one up and onto the button you go. Goodbye. <laughs> the gargoyle just disappears. I don't even know if it's a gargoyle. Whatever it is, it just disappears. Oh, I'm getting myself killed. There. And now we can finish. Come here. Come here, sword. I'm not really sure why this guy is standing here. Because I don't remember ever using him. But he was there on the other side of the world, so it only makes sense to just keep him there. Just to be safe. Because now we're in a completely different part of this that you didn't even see on the previous map. See, there's two ramps now. Which one should I take? I'll take the low road first. Oh, wasn't that smart? That's the one being guarded. You, know, you come over here and see what's inside. I got it! Alright, so we have our full... <laughs> Alright, so we have all four crystal balls. So, all that's left now to do is find our way back to the, the entrance here, where the path is, and I'll get to the boss. And as I predicted, oh good, more health. That gives me a full 20 health points, which you'll need. We're not done yet. Still gonna find out. See, there's four enemies left, so I clearly have to go this direction even though the, the way back is at the top of the thing. So let me kill these guys. And these guys. And what did I get? Strength? No. Defense. Good. That's equally as important. So all those enemies are dead. And in the next part, I will fight the boss. So I'll see you then in part 12. Thanks for watching.